Right, this is what we're going to be making today. This beautiful shepherd's pie. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's get cooking. Right, firstly, we're going to peel these potatoes and put them in some water and then we'll get going with the mince. There you go, that's about the size that you want your potatoes. Right, now we've got a little bit of rice bran oil. That's to stop the ground beef from sticking. Okay, now we're going to dice our leek and we're going to grate our carrots. Right, and here's our leeks. They've been in there for a while now, they've got a bit of colour. I'm just going to turn that down and we'll grate our carrots. Right, let's get this grated carrot in here. There we go. And we're going to combine that with the leek. And of course, back in there goes our beef. I'm going to use Bisto here to dessert spoons with the sauce. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of that in there. A 50 gram sachet here of tomato paste, which I'm going to add in as well. Now while this is going on, I've turned the potatoes on so that it should all become ready at the same time. We'll just combine this and then we're going to add around about 400 mils of hot water. Rightio, let's just pour the water in. Then we're just going to put the lid on and let this bubble away on a low heat we're gonna give it a grind of salt and some black pepper and we'll give it a taste we'll stir this through first Now that this has all been cooked through, we can load up this baking tray here. We should just about have enough room for the mashed potato so we'll come back once i've mashed the potatoes right so we've got our potato mashed so we're just going to put it on top here and then we're going to cover that with grated cheese and there you go there's the mashed potato over the top I'm just going to put some grated cheese on top of that as well. And there we have it. We've got our grated cheese on the top. And I'm just going to sprinkle some paprika on top of that. And that'll give it a lovely, beautiful, brown, crispy texture. And that lovely smoked paprika taste. Right, into the oven on 180 degrees 
for 20 minutes and then turn it to grill for the next five minutes. And there you have it, straight out of the oven. It's still bubbling. Now I couldn't fit all of this in, um, in here, so I had to make another one, a smaller one, which I've subsequently eaten um, while this was in the oven. So, so the tasting went really well. <laughs> Okay, well thank you so much for watching and I hope you make this, it's, um, it's a real treat for the whole family. Right, I'll catch you on the next recipe.